We're live. Let's turn this around. Hi, Will. Hi. Where are we at? We're at Grand Design. Grand Design. Here in Indiana. Howdy, everyone. We are live on YouTube. We're just going to wait kind of like a minute. If you're watching this on replay, fast forward to the one minute mark to uh, let us know. And uh, let us know if you can hear us okay and if you can see us okay. Leave down in the comments below. I want you to introduce yourself to everybody. Yeah, hey, I'm Justin. I'm with Grand Design here. I'm a the Imagine and Transcend Regional Sales Manager for the North Central part of the U.S. Um, yeah, we're here today in uh, Indiana, 95 degree Indiana on a nice sunny day. It's a little, yep. little toasty out here, but we're going to take you through and show you a couple of new things that we have coming out this fall and uh, maybe give a couple sneak peeks. Yeah, definitely. Now, what's going on here? Because we got all this stuff set up. Yeah, so we're kind of exhibiting a lot of our uh, new floor plans that we have coming out this fall and uh, some new product changes and updates and uh, just trying to show it off a little bit. We've had some issues with the, the whole COVID thing recently, so this is kind of an impro impro uh, improvising session for that. Yes. That a little bit. Yes, and there's some units here that we are not going in and we can't show you, uh, they're exclusive. <laughs> but uh, which one are you gonna show us first? So today we're gonna hop into the 297 QB. This is actually a brand new floor plan for the Transcend Explore lineup. So we're really excited about this one. How many people we got, Will? 105. 105. Hi, everyone. All right, why don't you just uh, take, take a look? Yeah. So like I said, this is a 297 QB uh, Transcend Explore. This is very similar to the old 29 TBS floor plan that we used to have a uh, couple weeks ago here. So this is kind of the new updated version for that. We're gonna hop inside and take a look at uh, this new floor plan. Yeah. Now, Grand Design, the transcend is relatively new. Yeah. You know what, two years old? Yeah, it's a, it's a newer brand for us. It's the most recent brand that we've come out with. Um, and man, it has absolutely blown up uh, Re with all the new buyers coming out. Yeah, real quick on the outside first. Yeah. Uh, so, if we were to compare this to Brand X, what do you guys do different with the outside? Yeah, so when I'm at RV shows, a lot of the time you'll get customers that rub their hand across the side. This exterior metal that we use is actually thicker than a lot of other competitors out there. We use what's called an O3O thickness on the outside. A lot of uh, different manufacturers thought it was just a little bit thinner. We stepped it up and uh, did a lot thicker metal on the outside. So just protecting the coach and uh, also helps with insulation and everything like that. It's a nice tough shell for it. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Let's go inside. The wind's probably messing up the audio. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit cooler in here. Oh, man. Nope. Yeah, so back here, we've got kind of a unique bunk room back here, but you can see there's tons of sleeping opportunities back here. We've got a full-size um, bed on the bottom here, and then an interesting L-shaped uh, bunk up on the top here. So if you've got two little ones, get the two little ones on there. Look at it. He's been there perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Good for all the chubby kids. <laughs> Uh, and it's a separate bunk room too, so if they're being loud and annoying or anything like that, you just kind of close them off and you're good to go. What's the tip-to-tip -tip length of this? Um, this one, it comes in at 36. Nice. Yes. I like the layout in here. Yeah, this is a great great floor plan for us. Tons of uh, storage up in the kitchen area here. You come up to the bedroom, into the bathroom there. And then you've got underbed storage here on gas struts, trying to make it easy so you're not breaking your back holding up the uh, bed. No political post. This is about RVs. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, his and hers wardrobes up in the front in the bedroom as well. And then check that out. Check out that new uh, shoe cubby storage that we just started doing, both in this model and the 247 VH. Nice. So with this being a, a new product, how's it, how's it doing in the market? Great, it's doing excellent right now. Um, we've got a lot of new buyers coming into the RV industry, especially with the whole COVID pandemic going on. So yep. this is a great first step to get them into the Grand Design family. Maybe later down the road, jump up to a reflection. Yep, solitude later than that. Yep, yep. So, uh, cool, so what's the next one? Uh, next we're gonna go jump over and check out some Imagine Travel Trailers. All right, Can you imagine that? Phone call, stop calling me, y'all. We're here on live. How's our audio coming in, guys? Leave down some comments below. Let us know how our video and audio is coming in. Next, we 
are going to look at the uh, 3110 VH. This is another brand new floor plan that we just came out with uh, maybe a couple weeks ago here. Um, so this one's not even on dealership slots yet? Maybe just hitting the lots now. Yeah, yeah. exclusive. Just recently. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a look. I think you guys are going to like this one a lot. Okay. A lot of wind noise, so we'll yeah. talk more inside. We're going inside. <clears throat> Four Seasons. Four Seasons camping. <laughs> R40 in your roof, great insulation up in the roof there, added insulation. And the AC's oh on, and we got the air conditioning on, no more 95 degree temperature. What the heck's going on over there? All right, that? so our customers yep. that are familiar with your 2970 RL, it's a great floor plan that we've had for a long time. Um, from about here up, it's the same exact floor plan as the 2970, but if you notice back here, yeah, we've mixed it up a little bit, haven't we? That is. So you want, me, you want me to show you how this whole thing works? Go ahead. So we've got huge flip down bunk up on the top here, tons of space up there. You flip this up and you've got a couch down here for added seating. So you've got the meter seats where you're sitting there. Yep. Uh, we've got this here and then all I have to do, lift up on this strap here, and you've got more seating, or more sleeping down the bottom there. That. This is why we came to Indiana to see <laughs> stuff like this. <laughs> and all the window cover or uh, window openings on the back and on the side wall there. That is so cool. And this is a normal queen size double. Yeah, it looks more like a double size. Uh, but if you uh, look at that, and you would think, no, 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 I'm feeling it out because it looks lumpy, but it's a little lumpy. I would. Do you have any other furniture colors? Out. Nope, it's just this one. We only offer one uh, furniture color option, or actually color option in general for our interiors. Just trying to focus on that quality. Um, less options, mm -hmm. higher quality. I like less options. Options uh, make stuff difficult. <laughs> you know? That's right. Yeah, need to take a look at the rest of the floor plan. You've got your booth dinette with the. Uh... Oh, yeah, you got your wardrobe or uh, pantry. pantry right there. Nice puree on oven. We went to the uh, Furion factory yesterday. Did you? About factory, um, the world headquarters right there. Yeah. And uh, we did a review of the uh, Elysium, wow, which nice. is really cool. Nice sink right there. How's the bathroom? Storage under that bed, right? If somebody asked, does that flip up or it's just... Okay, so some drawers. Now, have you sold one of these yet or no? Um, yeah, my dealers have. What's their feedback? Um, they love it. So. I had a dealer, actually you're the general RV in, in uh, Salt Lake City. Okay. Is one of my dealers and they, uh, um, an older couple that wanted to bring along their um, grandchildren. Yep. This is perfect for them. Yep, for sure. I mean, you never, with any bunks, you never get the double sofa. No, no. Now time for the toilet. Look at the shower. That's a nice, this, is this a 36 by 36? Or a 30 by 36. That's a 30 by 36. Good, good job. Good product knowledge there. I know my bathrooms. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you guys some stuff up in the bedroom. Okay. There. You doing a toilet okay, test? I'm doing a toilet test. Look at this. I mean, oh, porcelain. porcelain. Prime pooping position, y'all. <laughs> have you ever seen my show? I have not. So he has no idea what we're talking <laughs> about. I love it. All right, I'll let you go in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, a couple things that we just came out with recently, I think you all will like too. Uh, Sliding trays under the bed now. Oh wow! Or added storage down there. Hold the camera steady, Will. Read, Trying. Read the comments. Nice. It doesn't have a built-in gimbal though, like right. the GoPro. Video. Oh, we got real good reception here. And uh, we just added cubbies up in the. Bedroom area two, right here, with one tens and USBs. Okay. How convenient is that? You can pop your phone in there. Yep. Right or a CPAP. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Very nice. I, I like the cabinets. Oh, and that's on both sides. Yeah, both know. sides here. The cabinets up here look good. You got your blue lights right there. Check this out. This is real nice. Hanging I can't see there. inside. Hi, everyone. Yep, right there. 254 people. Hot RV concierge. Me and Joe Mullins, we were talking about you yesterday. Andrea holds the camera steadier. She sure does, Jim. <laughs> and she's not as pretty as Will. Or, uh, wait, no. 
She's a lot prettier than Will. That's what I meant. Cool. So what's next? Um, or is this? Are these? That those are the, these are the two sneak peeks I was gonna show you guys. Okay. Now what about the Imagine XSP or whatever? Um, the XLS. Yeah. Yes. Can we look at that, or is that one top secret? You know what? I think we can look at it. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> there is some stuff here that we cannot look at. We've been instructed not to show, which makes me want to show it. But <laughs> we'll do a quick sneak peek. Can you uh, remind them of the model number again? So this uh, this new one that I'm going to show you guys is the 15 FLE, and this one was the three, oh yeah sorry about that three one one zero BH. Very interesting design. I have never seen a travel trailer that gives you both sofa a sofa theater seats and the bunk. in there but look how big that shower is in a small travel trailer like this and the cargo carrying capacity has to be insane yeah especially for a coach this small for something this small does it have ppp Dang, damn it. Dang, damn it. it's tighter than the other one is um, it porcelain still porcelain so it passes but but here's the deal right it, if this is the pass line passed right here where that other one yeah got a perfect score but, but for I a mean, smaller unit shower, it's pretty cool most of the time when you're in small units like this that shower oh, sorry about that come on in <laughs> yeah just a quick little sneak peek for you guys yeah okie dokie so you're gonna let us go now we're gonna it's up to look you. at go, uh, yeah we're gonna look at that reflection right Reflection, the momentum, and that solitude, right? Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Thanks Take, so much. Yeah, of course. Good talking with you guys. Anybody, how many people we got watching? 300. 300 people live. Cool. Do you have a reflection 315 here? Somebody's asking. We don't have a no. 315 here right now. No, because that's one of their most popular. <laughs> yeah, that's already. Forever. This is this new is stuff. Be like the new stuff to sneak peeks. So, Do, are we yeah. doing pricing or we don't have like MSRP? You know it. Flare. People yeah. are asking about pricing. Thank you. Yeah, no pricing this video. Okay. And hang on. Like MSRP or isn't, no? Isn't Grand Design MSRP only? That's right. Yep. yep. So MSRP, Google it. <laughs> but if you call General RV, we will always get you a better price. Cool. Thanks. See that water catch? <laughs> Brand is not for life. Let's check this one out. This is a 278 BH. Is the AC on? Oh, yeah. It is. So, this is the reflection, everyone. This is their mid profile fifth wheel. They have the reflection in solitude. We will be taking a look at solitude, but this is going to compete with your Cougars, your Jayco Eagles, your what else? Well, what was the first lights? You know, just your mid-profile, nice price point fifth wheel. Very nice bunk area back here. You got the bunk over there. I like how a lot of people are doing these doubles. You know the nice big size because it it's important here's your tv this is a little silly love the u-shaped dinette yeah cool three-year warranty on these 
and it looks like I haven't seen a grand design yet with a small shower. This one actually looks like it might be half ton towable. You know? It might I think be. so. Yeah. Normally when they're half ton towable, they don't they only have the one slide out. So how's everybody going? Leave down in the comments. Let me know how it's going. Also, oh, if you haven't joined yet, yeah, sorry. <laughs> if you haven't joined Club Art Deco yet on Facebook, uh, go to Facebook in the search bar, type in Club Art Deco. That's just our Facebook community group uh, that we have where you get to connect with both me, Andrea, and now Will, because Will's with me this weekend. <laughs> and uh, you just get to connect with us, and, and you would have saw that we're here in Indiana. Uh, we just posted pictures of the RV Hall of Fame. We're running around like crazy out here, meeting everybody, and trying to do as much factory tour stuff as we can. And it's a lot of fun, ain't it? It is. I tell you what, it's hard being a, uh, an influencer like posting pictures and making videos and stuff. Let's look at that very, did you see that very small toy hauler? Oh yeah. With the, with the deck. And there's a little outside kiss on this one. Oh yeah. This has been out for about a year now. They've always had the momentum, but this is a new G-Class, which is their travel trailer toy hauler version. Hello. This is Jebediah. <laughs> Come on in. Ooh. Oh, no AC. That's kind of cool though for a small. Oh wow, look at what they're doing up here. Bunk beds up front. Again, huge shower. Look at this. Bunk beds up front, huge shower. How many oh. people we got watching? 303. Nice. You got your bunk bed up here. Your kitchen over here. Very nice. I like what they're doing over here. Mm -hmm. Fury on, Fury on. More cool refrigerator. So, where? Oh, did you see that? What? Stand over there. This is the. Oh bar. yeah. That is so cool. Let's see if we can find the switch. Now that is cool. Because I saw the bunk beds up front and I'm like... Yeah, I thought it was just a trifold sofa. At? Right. Which that does look like it's a trifold sofa. But look at this coming from the roof. That is so cool. Ain't that cool, y'all? Let me get a thumbs up for Grand Design. That's pretty cool. How many thumbs up do we have? 76. So you're telling me... Oh, 81. You're telling me I'm hot. It's Indiana. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm here with Will. And we got 300 people watching, but only 83 thumbs up. All right, 109. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's the RV review crew right there. See that? See that? Yep. That's for the kids. Cool. And then, so check this out. This is the open concept toy hauler. It's... This is oh. great for four wheelers, AT. Oh my God, look at this. That's cool. This is awesome. It's like a little entertainment center. There's an awning up here. Oh, I missed out at first. Ta big awning. Oh, little fridge. Look at that. D rings back here. Makes a makes a patio. This is so cool. Somebody commented and said Andrea died. No, she's just at <laughs> home in Florida. This is, this is really neat, I must say. It's bigger than it looks on the camera, I think. Yeah. Like, it's just hard to get a good angle. For sure. Well, they say the camera adds 10 pounds. 
We need to stop recording with five cameras at one time. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. All right, so now we're gonna take- Oh, good question. Does this have a generator? Let's look out front. I do not know. I doubt it because it's a smaller one, but. Well, but it's still a toy hauler. Looks like maybe it might be right there. Nope. No. Storage. Uh oh. Look at this. A Cummins Onan QG 4000 generator. Propane. What's the model again? Do you remember? Nope. Let's find out. Twenty-nine G O. Say that again, because somebody called in. I don't know if it caught it. Twenty-nine G O. Stop calling me, folks. We're here live at Grand Design in Mishawana, Indiana. Is that right? Sure. Cool. We got one more. We're gonna look at today. That is their top of the line fifth wheel, which is the solid. Now, is that one more allowed in? Uh, yeah. We're you want to double check? We're going. We're going. Oh, okay. No, we're allowed in this one. But, uh, look at this. I love this. So this one's a rear living? I think it's a RD, like rear den. Don't correct me, Will. <laughs> no. Rear den? I think. Wouldn't that be a rear living? It's very similar, yeah. yeah. Look at that, folks. Listen, we all know I love my motorhome, right? I love motorhome reviews. But if you're going to be full-timing in an RV, and you plan on being stationary, right, and not as mobile, the fifth wheel is where it's at. And then look how good it looks behind a nice 2020 GMC Denali. That does look good, don't it? It does. But this storage is absolutely incredible. This one is the Solitude 390 RK, rear kitchen. Oh, RK. No AC in this one. So I like that you can't really tell from the, but this is like actually textured. It's not just wallpaper. Wow, it is. Great point. And I love like the imperfections, how yeah. it's like hand laid. Very nice. Oh, I love this setup. This is awesome, huh? You have this, you're looking head on at your television. Okay, and when I went in, uh -oh. I have to say I was, I was up, went in not expecting to like it because a lot of times when they have rear kitchens elevated or front kitchens elevated, I can't come in because it's too low. I can walk all the way around. Thanks so much, Sharon. We are, um, our Matt's RV Reviews Tobles is getting ramped up again September 1st. And for those of you wondering, Will is six foot three. He's in the rear and he still has plenty of space. Why don't you show the rest of the fifth wheel, Will? No, I'll hold it. No. <laughs> you, you <laughs> it's a Matt's RV reviews. Not Will's RV reviews. But still, you're tall. I want to see you in the bedroom as well. No, the bedroom's always the same. Is it? Yeah. Is it really though? <laughs> it's always the same for you. I never have a problem in the bedroom. Does, I'm sure. Wow. Do not show it yet. This bathroom is absolutely incredible. You ready? Look, look at it. Double sink. Double sink. Prime. That has to be a PPP. That's the primus of the pooping position. And look at that shower. Is that not absolutely incredible? Mm-hmm. That is crazy. And let me sneak through. Look at this. 
a nice, it's like a shower, like with a little tub, but it's not like it's a step up. You can sit if needed. The space in here is absolutely incredible. I'm sweating like crazy. Oh, I know. We have double sinks, beautiful mirror. That is so nice. And then look at this toilet. Doesn't get any primer. It doesn't get any primer. <laughs> a primer pooping position would be called a perfect pooping position. And then look at this, the bedroom. Ah, oh. very nice. I think we're having, we might be having service issues, so. Uh-oh, why's that? A couple people are saying they're stuck, or you're stuck. Whoops. All right, well, let's get out of here then. Don't walk backwards. All right. Where'd my water go? Oh, they're saying it's fine. Oh, Maybe okay. it was that particular person's. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Let's take a look at this cabinetry. Middle, middle living room area. Very nice. Cool. Let's head on out. Here, get the door so I can. Cool. Oh, look at this. It says thump here. That's solid. <laughs> that's the grand design for you. But that's it. That's the, that's the video. That's the live we're here in Mishawana, Indiana at the Grand Design Factory. And uh, we're about to log off now. And we're about to personally go and look at some of the ones that we weren't allowed to show you on camera. But don't worry, folks. Make sure if you're interested in anything grand design, anything fifth wheel travel trailer or towables, make sure you subscribe to our second channel called Matt's RV Reviews Towables, where again, we will be ramping up September 1st, and then we will be making a video absolutely every day on that channel starting October 1st. But okay, sorry, really yeah. quick. People are asking, are we gonna tour Force River fifth wheels, Alliance fifth wheels, and Keystone fifth wheels? So yes. And we, travel trailers, we sorry. We did Alliance this morning. It wasn't good for live though, because yeah, of service. They, they didn't have good service, but we do have a factory tour with uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Brady, Brady the uh, owner of Alliance. And that video will be coming very soon. Also, we're going to uh, prime time first thing in the morning, who is Forest River. And um, what was the other one they said? Keystone. No, we're not doing Keystone. Actually, that's a great question. That is, actually. I don't know why we missed that. Yeah, uh, well, we might do Keystone. We're going to make a few phone calls because we didn't do any Keystone at all. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> we didn't play in the zone too well. <laughs> but that's it. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. How many people are we at, Will? 384. Dude, thank you guys so much. Literally, all the support that everybody does watching us is freaking awesome. Again, make sure you go to Facebook and you join Club Art Deco. It's our it's our club. It's just a great way to interact with Andre and I uh, on a personal level. And you would see that we're here in Indiana. We put, just posted some pictures of, um, of the RV Hall of Fame that we went to this afternoon. Thanks so much for watching. Well, thanks for recording. You're welcome. We'll see you next, next time. time.